with reminding you that 17 News is your local election headquarters. State lawmakers in Sacramento today held another hearing to explore possible changes to California's recall process. 17's Ashley Zavala runs down some of the ideas being discussed. Thank you to the witnesses. California lawmakers continue to weigh potential proposals to change the state's 110-year-old recall process. The Joint Assembly and Senate Elections Committees met for a second time after this effort was launched the day after Governor Gavin Newsom defeated his recall. I, I come into these discussions with a completely open mind, and I have not yet made any decisions about specific reforms that I might support. Lawmakers Monday focused on potential four-cause recall requirements. Experts testifying noted eight states have this in place. Seems to be going on in these states that have the cause requirement and have the judicial review is that petitions that are frivolous or that are not based in sound fact are being rejected. For cause issues are kind of vague. Uh, they can be interpreted a thousand different ways. They're ambiguous. And so we're not ever going to be able to come up with the reason, the exact reason. The committee also put the spotlight on local recall elections. Ballotpedia's editor-in-chief noting California accounts for about a quarter of recalls held across the United States in 2021. He also showed school board officials made up the majority of the targets of recalls across the country this year. Some of those targets weighing in. I'm one of several highly qualified, knowledgeable, and experienced board members I know leaving public service altogether at the end of their current terms. I'm really fearful for what this will mean for districts and students all over our state. Lawmakers took an hour worth of public comment against changes, including from Orrin Heatley, the lead proponent of Governor Newsom's recall. The constitutional amendments that were written in 1911 were written specifically to keep your hands out of the process. Democrats noted if any changes are proposed, it will be up to the voters to ultimately decide if they take effect. At the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.